So what is your strategy to win this race, given the, is it not important, as Trump showed in the last election cycle, to have those Republican establishment ties? Or are you going to be building bridges? And then my follow up question is, if you don't win, what are you going to do? <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah. let me, uh, let me address the first, yeah. I, it's basically in the camp that I don't think it's the voters that ultimately matter, not the people who have appointed themselves in the reigning establishment, or it's not even the establishment anymore. It's an outdated establishment that I don't think actually is going to influence meaningfully the result of this election, except for one respect, which is money, which I'll get back to. So, so the area where we're punching above our weight, right? We, debates haven't even happened yet. You know, at least in the last week, I'm third in most of the national polls. This is well ahead of even where we planned to be, right? We planned to be in third by November, December, ahead of the Iowa caucuses, ahead of New Hampshire, overperform expectations in both of those, use the momentum to then win the race. That was broadly the strategy with the debate stage as the, play, as the way where I would steadily work my way into that. I think we're just now on a different curve where you know, we might be in second place by then and by a smaller margin than people expected. I think the debate stage is critical. The campaign strategy is actually to combine the initial investment that because I've lived the American dream, I was able to make, but to combine that with a true grassroots uplift. We've got close to 70,000, maybe more, I have to check the exact numbers, unique donors already. You have former, you know, vice presidents or other candidates that are, you know, well on their way and struggling by some measures to get to 40,000, which is the threshold for the first debate. So our strategy is very much a grassroots strategy. I've done more campaign events than anybody in the Republican field. And so this is, our strategy is very grassroots driven. So I'm punching above my weight in terms of events, unique donations, polling. The one area where I'm punching below weight is large scale donations. So we are not raising mass numbers of large check external funds yet into the campaign. Uh, my super PACs, or I don't even, I mean, whatever, they're independent expenditures. I don't, there, there's an entity that exists out there that's been affiliated with me has, based on public reports, uh, tiny amounts of money compared to those that are supporting an all in for candidates from Tim Scott to Ron DeSantis. And that's also a reality, right? And I think that that comes with competitive advantages and disadvantages. And they're two sides of the same coin. I think I am at liberty, total liberty. I feel totally unconstrained to pursue the strategy that David mentioned earlier, which is that I'm reacting in real time 